Multinational investment bank and financial services company Goldman Sachs has agreed to pay nearly $3 billion to end a probe of its role in the IMDb corruption scandal. Now, the bank's Malaysian subsidiary also admitted in U.S. court that it had paid more than a billion dollars in bribes to win work raising money for the Malaysian state-owned wealth fund. Details of these and other stories in our global business roundup. United States officials say the record settlement reflected Goldman's central role in a massive corruption scheme. Goldman admitted it had fallen short, calling it an institutional failure. In all, the investment bank is due to pay about $5 billion in penalties, about two-thirds of its 2019 profits to regulators around the world, including in the UK, to resolve cases that have severely tarnished the firm's reputation. Goldman's board said it will recoup or withhold $174 million in compensation awarded to executives, including retired boss Lloyd Blankfein and whose watch the scandal happened. Elsewhere, Chinese phone maker Huawei said it was doing its best to survive and forge forward despite the U.S. sanctions. Huawei is one of a handful Chinese tech firms targeted by Donald Trump on the grounds of national security. The phone maker had been busy stockpiling its supply of microchips before a U.S. trade ban came into effect in September. On Friday, it said its revenues for the first three quarters of 2020 were 9.9% higher than the same period last year. But Huawei said its ability to find a component part such as microchips has been put under intense pressure and its production and operations saw increasing difficulties. Disruptions in manufacturing caused by COVID-19 were also to blame. Meanwhile, British retail sales have continued to increase for the fifth consecutive month, boosted by non-food items including DIY and garden supplies, according to the official figures. The Office for National Statistics said retail sales volumes arose by 1.5% between August and September. Spending on groceries remained high, but petrol sales were still down as motorists made fewer journeys. Sales are now 5.5% higher than the pre-pandemic level seen in February. The three months to September saw the biggest quarterly increase on record as a retail sales volume increased by 17.4% when compared with the previous three months.